Hey, welcome back my friends. Today I want to talk to you about a video that was very popular that I made last year. And it's funny, the videos that I make, some don't really do that much. Some all of a sudden, they just grab all kinds of traction and get all types of views and lots of comments. And one that I made, it was a comparison, I, I did this last summer, it's a comparison to um, HDX. It's the Home Depot brand for weed killer. It has 40 one percent glyphosate in it and I also compare that to Roundup which is probably somewhere I'm guessing in the 20 percent range I can uh, put that in this the description below to give you a, an exact number and there's a thing that I've seen on Facebook it's a weed killer using vinegar and the classic original scent original Dawn this is the non-concentrated Dawn. It's pretty tough to find this. I actually searched around and in Walmart they have the non-concentrated. What I've heard from people is that it actually bubbles up more than the concentrated stuff. So they recommend that and like a cup of Epsom salt. So since I made the video, I've had all kinds of comments on there. A lot of environmentalists talking about the danger that uh, something that has all types of glyph like a high concentration of glyphosate, like 41% or Roundup for that matter. The, the impact that it has on the environment and your drinking water. So a lot of people have recommended going to a higher percent of vinegar, such as 20%. Uh, so I bought this on Amazon. It's $19.99 for a gallon. They also make a 30% vinegar solution too, so I'm hoping that this works. Um, the other, the 30% was $5 more, so I figured I'd at least go to this step right here, see how it works, and we'll test it out. So let's go to the opening of this, and I'll, I'll first compare the smell of the 5% store type vinegar to the 20%, and we'll see what the difference is. All right, so here's the package that came from Amazon. And I do want to say this has a four and a half out of five star rating from many commenters. So I have high expectations based on the reviews. The reviews can't lie, right? So let's first go to the store-bought stuff. All right, I have a faint smell of vinegar, very uh, common to most people. Let's see if this is stronger. I don't... Yeah, once I inhale it a little deeper, I, it does have a little bit of a stronger, but it's not like a real bam, like hits you in the face smell. So what I'm going to do is mix up a special blend of this and a little bit of Dawn soap, put it in a sprayer, Hit some weeds, and we're gonna see what looks. Okay, so I carefully poured 24 ounces of 20% acidity vinegar into this spray bottle. And I'm just gonna put a little squirt of the Dawn. You really don't need that much. Okay, just enough. I, I'm not exactly sure what the Dawn does. I'm guessing that the soapy residue just helps it stick and hold on to the plant a little bit longer. So you just shake it up. And now we're going to go to some weeds. Okay, weeds number one. Underneath the basketball hoop. There's a few ants in there. They may not like that. Weed number two, let's see what happens to this one. This is one of the uh, prickly. I'll get a name for it, put it in the description. Get that good. All right. All right, number three, I have some clover. Let's see what it does to that. This little patch here, it's in my gravel driveway. Gonna hit it kind of hard. Good, good soaking. 
All right, let's see what does I am poison ivy. All right, those leaves are nice and shiny. All right. Okay, welcome back. The spray has been on overnight. I did it about nine o'clock last night and it's close to 11.30 a.m. So it's been somewhere close to 15 hours, give or take, that the spray, the vinegar, 20% acidity has sat on the weeds and the poison ivy. So I'm gonna go in the same order and let's see how it works. All right, here is the first one. I can definitely see the weeds are turning color. That dandelion type weed is definitely on its way out. So it's definitely working there. And those two. And over here you can see what fresh grass to the right looks like. So it's definitely turning brown and dying. All right, that number one has passed the test. All right, here's weed number two. You can see that that has really started to die. Oh, there's a little bit of green left on the edge there. But 15 hours later, this is a dandelion type looking weed, but it's got the sharper edges to it, a little more prickly than regular dandelion weeds. To see what a healthy one looks like, I haven't sprayed. It's right there, see how nice and green that is? And look at that one right there. All right, that is working awesome. All right, here's test spot number three. This is mostly clover that is on the edge of my driveway, a gravel driveway. And you can see the white flowers are really starting to wither and die. Let's go to that plant right there. That is a broadleaf weed that's really turning brown and dying quick. And the rest of that clover, you can see it's on its way out. I think clover is a rather hardy plant. And I'll just show you over here where I didn't spray. You can see the untreated, how it's dark green and bright white flowers where this area right here, it's dying. So it's definitely working on the clover. All right, here's test area number four. This is the poison ivy. I haven't really seen after 15 hours anything too significant yet. This will probably take about a good week to really see some results based on other weed killing that I've done on poison ivy before. So I will keep you posted on that update. But for now the video is just going to be a 15 hour test to see how it works. Alright so that concludes my video using this right here. 20% acidity vinegar. It's 200 grain white vinegar. I'd like to know your thoughts. Have you tried the 30%? I'm curious about that. I haven't, I'm not sure if it's worth spending the extra five bucks to go to that or is this good enough? I guess it remains to be seen on the poison ivy. Everything else seems to be working just fine with this right here. All right, so if you have any comments, I'd like to hear them, what has worked for you. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Thanks for watching my friends. Have a great day. All right, I'm planning on having a video come out in a few weeks that will show a side-by-side -side comparison of 20% vinegar versus the store-bought 5%. And also I'm gonna do a shootout comparison with apple cider vinegar and see how that works as well. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that red button down there. See you next time.